The James Webb Telescope has provided astronomers with an unprecedented view of the cosmos, revealing intriguing discoveries that continue to captivate the scientific community. In a recent effort, researchers directed the Webb Telescope toward a remarkable set of 5,000 relatively young galaxies, among which they discovered a galaxy that is believed to be the youngest to date, exhibiting extraordinary cosmic phenomena. This observation has perplexed scientists, as it raises questions about how it is possible for such a young galaxy to exhibit such phenomena. While the full understanding of these discoveries may seem fizzy on the cosmic timescale, this breakthrough is a significant achievement for both science and humanity as a whole. It provides scientists with the opportunity to study and learn more about the mysteries of the universe and could lead to a greater understanding of the cosmic processes that shape our world. Ultimately, these discoveries are a win-win for science and for humanity in its continuing quest for knowledge about the cosmos. If you are interested in keeping up to date with news from the universe and its surroundings, subscribe to our channel, be sure to like this video, share it to reach more people, and turn on the notification bell. The first installment of data from the Sears survey gives us a glimpse of a region known as the Extended Growth Fringe, transporting us to a period shortly after the Big Bang. In this image, we can admire more than 5,000 galaxies in their full magnitude, presented in vibrant colors and rendered in three dimensions. This exciting cosmic journey begins with relatively nearby galaxies, located a few kilometers of millions of light years away from Earth, and culminates in the sighting of the Macy's Galaxy, which is located at a staggering distance of 13.4 billion light years from our planet. This galaxy is one of the oldest observed by mankind, and appears before us as it was some 390 million years after the Big Bang. In this new image, generated from data collected by the Sears Science Survey, we are given the opportunity to explore a region of space known as the Extended Growth Belt. This area, located between the constellations Ursa Major and Boatis, harbors about 100,000 galaxies within it. Prominently, among all these galaxies, the Macy's Galaxy is presented as a representative example of the primitive galaxies that the James Webb Space Telescope is able to study. This image not only allows us to take a journey through space, but also a journey through time, taking us back in cosmic evolution to a period when the universe, at 13.8 billion years old, was less than a third of its present age. This exciting achievement is a testament to the potential of JWST to unlock the mysteries of the cosmos and provide valuable information to astronomers. Astronomers using the telescope have also identified a chain of ancient galaxies that spans more than 3 million light years. These ancient galaxies are connected by a long cosmic filament dating back to the earliest days of the universe. This ancestral filament, composed of gas and stars, could represent a key component of cosmic structure. Its discovery offers the possibility of shedding light on how the universe is formed and on the mysterious invisible connections that hold it together. This filament is anchored by an extremely bright supermassive black hole at its center, known as a quasar. Over the past two decades, research has revealed that the universe is organized as a kind of scaffolding, composed of a series of filaments and clusters that are not visible to the naked eye. In these clusters, dark matter and conventional matter become extraordinarily dense, creating the ideal conditions for the birth of stars and galaxies. Between these clusters and filaments, there are low-density regions in the universe where there are few galaxies and less matter. Although the filament itself is not visible, it is possible to observe how it connects and links galaxies in its path. Meanwhile, the quasar, the supermassive black hole, is presumed to be acting as a crucial anchor point for this filament. The research team believes that, over time, these galaxies will eventually group into a congregation similar to the Coma Galaxy Cluster. The research team also hopes that this discovery will shed greater clarity on the cosmic structure as a whole. However, their interest is especially focused on understanding how the first quasars in the universe formed. In connection with quasars, astronomers using the James Webb Telescope have identified the farthest supermassive black hole ever observed. This black hole turns out to be one of the least massive in the universe, 
with a mass equivalent to about 9 million times that of the Sun, which poses challenges in its explanation. The researchers carried out this observation in the galaxy that hosts this active supermassive black hole as part of the Cosmic Evolution Science Survey. This galaxy, called Sears 1019, is observed as it was when the universe was 13.8 billion years old. This discovery is intriguing because the processes by which supermassive black holes grow generally involves mergers between black holes, or the ingestion of surrounding matter. This raises questions about how a black hole of such magnitude could have formed and grown in a period of only 570 million years. By comparison, even black holes on a smaller scale to those at the center of the Milky Way, which are about 4.5 million times the mass of the Sun, should have developed in a considerably more recent universe in cosmic terms. The black hole located at the center of Sears 1019 has a mass of about 9 million times that of our Sun. Although this may sound immensely large, many supermassive black holes can grow to billions of times more massive than our star. However, the existence of black holes of this magnitude in the early universe poses a puzzle for scientists. Observing this distant object with a telescope is similar to analyzing data from black holes that exist in galaxies close to our own. Scientists had long suspected that supermassive black holes existed in the early universe, but only since the James Webb Space Telescope opened its infrared eye to the cosmos in mid-2022 has conclusive proof been obtained. The light emissions reveal that the Sears 1019 black hole is in an active feeding state, sucking in matter from its surroundings. Black holes that feed in this way are surrounded by accretion disks, which are swirls of gas and dust falling toward the black hole. The gravitational influence of the black hole heats this matter, causing the disk to glow brightly. Magnetic fields channel the matter towards the poles of the black hole, where it is occasionally ejected in twin jets that move at speeds close to the speed of light, generating intensely bright light. A more detailed analysis of the intense radiation coming from these black holes could provide information about how their host galaxy is growing and possibly shed light on their mysterious past. It is possible that a galaxy merger is playing a role in supplying matter to this galaxy's black hole, and this in turn could be driving an increase in star formation. Scientists are taking a close look at the data revealed by the James Webb Space Telescope, and these data have radically transformed our perception of the early universe. The formation of galaxies so early, only about 390 million years after the Big Bang, represents a challenge to our current cosmological model. While we can adjust our model based on the revelations provided by the telescope, much remains to be discovered among the wealth of information collected by Webb in the early universe. Scientists have also suggested that, although Macy's galaxy is the youngest galaxy identified so far, additional observations point to the existence of even younger galaxies and black holes that mark the beginning of the universe. Therefore, it is necessary to go back to the drawing board, not just as a choice, but as an imperative necessity. What the universe is hiding from us is only a matter of time, and soon we will get answers. Or rather, we will know the places where we might find them. As I mentioned at the beginning, this research is beneficial for both scientists and humanity as a whole. Let us know what you think in the comments box. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.